This week, the Environment Program will be visiting Slovenia and discovering a cave full of dinosaurs. Then we'll be going to the north of Germany, where some scientists are trying to understand how boglands absorb or emit CO2. And finally, back in France, we'll be taking a look at a series of original and promising ideas: car sharing. When visiting Postojna's limestone caves in Slovenia, you may come face to face with a dinosaur. A copy has been made of the four meter high and 22 meter long skeleton of a dinosaur found in China in 1957. It rained the earth 250 million years ago. The exhibition, including fossils from the area, is open to the public until the 3rd of May. The 2nd of February was World Wetlands Day. In northern Germany, a team of European researchers are studying a bogland so as to understand the interaction between plants, soil, and greenhouse gases. This is a peat bog. This is a lot of organic matters inside. So the amount of uh, CO2 flux and or methane is very high here in this ecosystem, especially when we get temperature above five degree. The vegetation season. So we have these two very, very high-level fluxes of CO2 coming in, photosynthesis process, and going out from the ecosystem, which is more or less the soil respiration. In fact, the way in which this wetland breathes is the great unknown. Its CO2 assessment depends on a whole series of elements like temperature, illumination, and precipitations. And after five years of measures, the verdict is final. If we compare these two fluxes. Consumption of CO2 from the atmosphere and emission to the atmosphere methane. We can certainly, after these five years, that's one of the results of our investigation. From the point of view of greenhouse gases, as general, these ecosystem help us, help human being, to fight against the increase of greenhouse effect. So protect them. That's our advice. Since the beginning of the 20th century, the surface of the world's wetlands has diminished by more than half. In Paris, the Vélib is a huge success. 1,500 stations, 20,000 bikes, and millions of rides. Is it possible today to have the same system for cars? The Paris Town Hall has just put forward a project called Autolib. In Nantes, the initiative has already been set up. Marguerite is the name given to this type of transport: car sharing. Si nous abordons un citoyen aujourd'hui en lui disant, Monsieur, if you go up to somebody today and tell them that cars are stupid, you're the one who seems unconvincing. Because in our lives there are journeys that cannot be made other than by car. Qui ne peuvent pas se faire autrement qu'en automobile. If you live in Nantes and you want to have a swim at Saint Michel on the 15th of July, you have a choice between a car and a car. Not denigrating the car while at the same time using this means of transport in a responsible way is the message of this businessman who used to work in car rentals. After a few months of existence, how is this experiment faring in Nantes? It's 25 vehicles. Marguerite has 25 cars, 14 stations, 160 subscribers, and around 50 cars are used per week. And one Marguerite car does away with around 15 town cars. A modest debut that seduced this family man ready to seize an opportunity. No more car for private use. Having signed up in the shop. He has a pass that enables him to take a car in one of the stations in the town, day and night, seven days a week. A simple reservation over the phone or internet is all it takes. For example, if I'm going to collect my daughter, even five minutes beforehand, I can phone Marguerite and rent a car for an hour, an hour and a half, or two hours. It's the same thing if I want to go shopping and I've got parcels to carry instead of taking public transport. These cars can be extremely useful in many situations and are complementary to public transport. Transport. And with Nantes as forerunner in Paris and its surrounding area, the idea is taking root. A car park company has just inaugurated a car-sharing service at La Défense. Here we are in the Medallion. It's a transition space at La Défense, where you can access the reception center, the first French mobility center that we've named MobiWay. It's a centre exclusively dedicated to mobility. 
This centre unites many services on the theme of getting around. Here it's possible for those who work at La Défense to organise their own car sharing by subscribing to a site dedicated to this. Moto taxis are also available, as well as a car sharing service that is based on the model at Nantes. Half the households in Paris don't have vehicles. So renting cars when in need, for an hour or so, is an ideal solution for them. For example, when you have a dinner in the Paris suburbs at 8 o'clock, you get back at 2 in the morning, but you're sure to have your car, and it's cheaper than a taxi. And it would also solve traffic jams, a major problem in Paris. Autolib is for 2010. In the same vein as Vélib, the city would like to revolutionize its transport. And in a few years' time, having one's own car may be a thing of the past.